Hello everybody. GeoGuessr introduced a new competitive mode earlier this week. So I give it a shot to try to qualify for what they call the weekend series. And this is what we're going to play today because I have not completed all the possible games. As you can see, I've completed 17 games. One of you came second or third in, in others and sometimes they don't even get on the podium. Depending on the way you stand on the podium, you get a number of points. And it seems week after week you can accumulate points to get to the final trophy. Now, I will never get to the top 10. There are absolute experts uh, out there. I even discovered several websites where people are providing tips and tricks um, about how to identify countries and even specific locations within countries, anything from phone numbers to road signs to the street view car that can be sometimes a little bit seen in the images, such as the, the mirrors or the antenna, the color of the car. Um, I'm nowhere near having all that knowledge in my, in my brain, um, but I have accumulated some insights after playing hours and hours of this game. So hopefully I'll be able to share a few of these insights as I play today. Hopefully I'm not gonna make a complete fool out of myself. Uh, and I'll mention what I'm noticing in these images as, and, and explain why I'm making a particular guess. I estimate my knowledge to be probably around 5% of everything one could possibly analyze in an image. Uh, so if you're curious, just search on your favorite search engine, uh, GeoGuessr, tips and tricks, and you'll see there are hundreds of pages with very valuable information, such as location of the sun and vegetation, road types, um, signage, paint on the road, so on and so forth. So let's give it a shot. Let's play something today. Um, which one are we going to start with? Let's do one which I feel the most comfortable with, which is a distance game. Uh, I felt comfortable with it because I don't need to guess the exact country. You win, or at least you go to the next round, by being closer to the actual um, target to the location. Even if you're not in the correct country, it does not really matter because you need to be as close as possible. Um, all right, let's do this. So I can see we have a number of players who are mostly beginners. I can see this from their rankings. You see I'm at rank 900. So they're around in the, they're in the 400s. The one in 600, it's a bit better. So usually I fare better against weaker opponents by definition, but again, I have to be careful and not assume take things for granted. All right, so um, language here looks Slovenian, um, one of the Balkan countries. I'm trying to see if I can see a, a website, but this is not Slovenia, it's too dry. I'm probably gonna go more south. Although I have a bit of a doubt here. All right, let me see if I can get to the highway and see the destination. Vilnius is Lithuania. All right, so it's a Baltic. Um, Vilnius going towards the east on the A1. Let's go right here. And as you can see in the top right corner, I'm the closest to the actual location. I was 20 kilometers away. So I could have told myself that it was Lithuanian because I was fairly flat. Uh, I struggle with languages between Lithuanian and Slovenian. If I don't recognize some words, um, I really struggle. All right, so let's see. The sun is face is towards the south. So we're probably in the Northern Hemisphere. We have a palm tree here. I'm thinking Mexico right away. It's quite flat. I'll probably get a confirmation if I see some Spanish anywhere, but I do not find anything. I have to be careful if it's not one of the Caribbean islands, but I don't think so. Oh, I'm stuck here. Oh, here we go. We have a car, police car. I don't know. Let's go with somewhere in Mexico. Very flat. It's gonna be not obvious. Let's go in that May Merida. All right, I'm the second best guess, but I'm very far away from the first 
the best guess so far, I'm a thousand six hundred kilometers. It could be anywhere, actually, okay, I guess north of Mexico or one of the Caribbean islands. I'm not going to guess again because I'm anyway qualified for the next round. Only one person gets exited. All right, it was Curacao. It was, I guess, Portuguese. I should have read the police card a bit better, and it was indeed an island. Um, all right, fair enough. The images I've seen of Curacao so far were mostly in the town. All right, um, this looks European buses, e camiones. It looks European, but it may not be Europe actually. So there's a Spanish. I'm wondering if it's somewhere in, definitely Spanish, somewhere in Argentina, Apple Bank. Am I sure it's not? This looks like the flag of Chile. So I'm gonna go with Santiago. I have a bit of a doubt here, but I wanna make a guess, make sure I'm not disqualified. Okay, so I'm 1.8 kilometers from the person who guessed best on that round. The third person is a thousand kilometers. I was 97 kilometers away. I was not in Santiago, it was in Viña del Mar. All right, but it was Chile. It was indeed the Chilean flag that I noticed. I, I for a second, I was worried it was in an embassy, but then I saw Familia uh, written behind. All right, so this is a European landscape. Now, the road is not in very good condition. There's a short antenna, but I have no idea where the car, the street view car, that kind of street view car is actually driving through. It could look like Switzerland, but the road is too bad. Um, in my opinion. So I think this is Slovenia, although I could also, yeah, Slovenia in the, in the flatter areas, I guess it could be Slovakia as well, Poland. Um, I'm going to go with Slovenia because of the architecture, but I, I don't have a very strong confidence. Let me go in the flatter areas of Slovenia here, some hills behind. And I have a problem with the connection. I need to refresh. I guess very quickly if I have time. Oof, just on time. It was not Slovenia, it was Slovakia. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did Poland or Slovakia. All right, I've just made it by refreshing my screen. It's a bit annoying. I think it's the internet connection here. It's dropping me. All right, this reminds me of uh, Kenya or Uganda. No, 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 I'm wrong, completely wrong. This is probably Spanish. Um, I think probably because I don't know if it's Portuguese. I think it is Spanish. It's very flat. The road is very straight. <sighs> hmm. I don't have enough expertise like all these experts on uh, GeoGuessr. I'm gonna go with Argentina, maybe Uruguay, I'm not too sure, let me go here. All right, I'm the closer so far. No, there's someone closer. Oh, someone are much, some people are much closer. I'm wondering where this is. So we have a yellow double line. This is typical of South America. Oh, 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 we have something here. It was Spanish speaking and it was Northern Peru. All right, I would not have guessed that. 3000 kilometers away from the current guess, but I'm qualified for the next round. All right, this is a European landscape. A house behind. Again, the road is not very good. Vegetation looks more towards the Baltic states or Northern and Scandinavian, but could be a red herring. No, there's nothing that way. Is there anything I can, I don't know which way I went. No, I went on the right side. Okay, I can make a few guesses. I have nine guesses I can make. Ah, the vegetation makes it, make, makes it look more northern. I'm gonna go for Latvia. All right, I'm quite far away. So let me do another guess in Slovenia again. It seems closer but it's not quite Slovenia. Hmm. All right, there's five of us left. Only four will be qualified. I'm gonna put another dot in Slovakia and see if I'm, 
Maybe it's a bit better if I need to. No, I am qualified. It was the Czech Republic in this case. All right. Right in this national park, it seems. Oh, this big foresty area. All right, we have signs on the right hand side of the image. Road signs. Centre Gare, Plateau de Kirchberg, Saarbrück. All right, so this is Kirchberg. In France, on in Alsace, most likely because of the German names here. Casino Luxembourg. France, or actually, I guess Luxembourg. But it looks like I'm in France. Oh, oh no, the cars have a yellow sign. All right, let's go for Luxembourg because the license plates are yellow. So that's only in Luxembourg and not in France. So this is most likely Luxembourg city with direction to the train station. Yes, 1.5 kilometers from the correct answer. All right, we're getting, we're at least on the podium, so we'll get some points. Let's see if we can do better than third place. We had, we're guaranteed to get a third place. Um, all right, let's see, I'm in here. Okay. I'm wondering if it's Turkey. Yes, I see a minaret here. This is Turkey. Now, this is going to be difficult to know in which town. I don't think this is Istanbul. Simit Cafe. Um, I don't know the cities very well. I'm going to go for Ankara, but I don't have any indication why it would be. I'm just going for the more, the bigger towns. All right. I'm the best guess so far. Let me go to another town here in case I'm wrong. No, they're all guessing in this area. Uh, it's a waiting game, or maybe I can make some more guesses. They're getting closer. I'm going to go to the opposite side here. I am qualified. It wasn't Kara. It was just luck because I was closer. We were the three of us in the vicinity. All right, this is the final. I get at least a second place. So it'll give me seven points or ten if I win. Because I'm competitive, obviously. Um, all right, this looks Southern European. Tesoradero, Duro, Fatima, sounds Spanish, Portuguese. What do we have here? Rua, this is Portuguese. Rua is Portuguese. So I think this is Portugal. This is very likely Portugal, but where? It's not Brazil because it's just too much of a European style of the houses. Um, doesn't seem to be in the cities, so let's go make a guess and we'll see. All right, so I'm better than the, my opponent. I'm gonna make another guess. They're getting closer. Let me go south, let's see if it's any closer. Nope, I am not making a difference. I'm looking at the, oh, they're closer than me. So let me go north now. Yes, I'm now better than them, but they're gonna guess again. Where can I go? And I won. But that was pure luck. It was completely northern Portugal. So I get 10 points for the season points, whatever that will give me in the end. Um, and there is this division score for which I lose so many points when I lose in the earlier rounds and then the experience points, but it doesn't really matter. All right, that was pretty good. Um, so globally now we're 638 after having played 18 of the 30 possible games this weekend. So I can do two more duels, three more distance games and country games. Let's do a country game, but this one is really, really tough. So you get only three chances per round, otherwise you're knocked out, and you have one 50-50 for the entire game. Um, and if you answer incorrectly, you're knocked out out of this 50-50. Um, every round, one person is uh, disqualified or any person who's not guessed the correct country. That's the tricky part. With distance game, even if you're 10,000 kilometers away, you can get qualified as long as you make a guess and you're not the last uh, person uh, in terms of being farthest away from the actual point. Let's do a country game. We have to be really good at this one. 
Let's see. Oh, it's playing right away. We have 90 seconds per round. But if someone has guessed before you, they get qualified and you get disqualified. Okay, this is, looks like Austria, this church. It could be Slovenia. Let's see. Oh, this is Slovenia or it looks like Slovenia because of the language. I'm going to put a guess very quickly. It is Slovenia, correct. So as you can see here at the top, I'm the third one qualified. And you have a bunch of people making guesses on the right. So there are five, six, uh, ten spots out of 11 players, and then every round will have one spot less to qualify for. So this, in this case, it was just a shape of the church, which gave me a hint that was looking like Slovenia or Austria. And then the language clearly was not German. And then I would have gone for Croatia. Oh, it was written here, Slovenia. All right, fair enough. All right, that was an easy one. As you can see, you can see all the wrong guesses by, by people. There's only one, already one person who's disqualified because they've made just wrong guesses. There are three spots left and one person still playing because, but they have not guessed correctly. They've tried Ukraine and Poland. And this is wrong. They're doing 50-50 and they got it right with 50-50. All right, we're eight. And there are only seven spots at most. All right, so this looks like, driving on the right, it looks like the US with that kind of sign. Let's do a quick guess. We need to lock our guess. Otherwise, we may be, I'll be ready with playing Canada in case I am wrong. We'll see this right now. Okay, this was the US. So what you can do, as you can see, there was a yellow bar for the timer. Oh, everyone got qualified very quickly. And you can lock in your guess. And the best players usually lock in their guesses immediately. All right, so this is Europe. Uh, let's see what is written here. It could be Slovakia or Czechia. Let me see. I'm a, I don't know. Oh, they've made guesses already. This is not the, this is not this. All right, let's see. Let's see if it's Slovenia. No, someone already guessed Slovenia. I was wrong. It is Slovakia. I should have gone with Slovakia. Not, not a problem. I'm qualified. I didn't recognize the flags that had already been guessed top right corner. Actually, this is a trick that I read about. For instance, Rom Romania and Chad share almost the same flag. So if you know it's Romania, you could actually guess Chad by on purpose. Do a wrong guess so that people think it's Romania is a wrong guess and they will not try to guess it again since they see the name, the flags of the country's top right corner. And then you guess Romania. It's very, very tricky and nasty, but anyway, it's just a game. All right, five of us are qualified. There's one more spot, only one player playing still because they have two more attempts before the time runs out and nope, they have not guessed. So we're four, five, we're five players and four people left. All right, all right, this is Europe, it's quite flat. Driving on the left, this is the UK, very likely. It looks like the UK with the hedges on the right-hand side here, very green. Three people left their guesses, including me with the first one. It was the UK, only one spot. All right, we're qualified. All right, so this is a spot for the first three spots, podium. Let me see, okay, this is Europe. Where are we? Limonada. Ice tea, I don't know where this is. Is this Croatia maybe? Don't know. Evergreen. Ah, here we go. I don't recognize the language, Pakara. I do not recognize the language. Someone, nobody guessed, someone guessed can't remember the country, I guess it's Slovenia. I'm tempted to go with Croatia, but I am not confident with this. About money, yes. It could be Croatia or Montenegro. Yes, it was Montenegro because our part, apartman or apartmani, I know it's Croatian or, or, for, or the language of Montenegro. All right, this is Europe. Also, I can see the license plate, I believe. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, this is Italy. This is Italy. 
I'm not sure I'm going to get qualified because I was the last one to guess. This is correct. I was qualified. Someone must have guessed wrong. This is a place to know who the winner is. I do not recognize these. Um, I think you say bollards. Sorry, I don't pronounce correctly. I have no idea where this is. I could do a 50 50. There's a name here, I believe. No, can't see. Yes. Salvo, I don't know. I don't know where this is. I'm going to go for Slovakia. Czechia, it's wrong. I was knocked out. It was Slovenia. Oh, no. So often I try to go with Slovenia and, and it's wrong. And oh, just at the border here. All right. So I arrived second. I get seven season points. I still go up in this division. Not by much. And I get these experience points. All right. Uh, not too bad. Second spot. So I'm now in the first 600 people. Having played 19 games for the weekend series. All right. Let's do a duel. I've played distance countries. Now I can do one duel, I suppose. Um, I'm looking at the medals I'm getting here. I got one bronze and two silvers, I suppose. I think I guess this is bronze, and I never I didn't get any gold yet. All right, uh, I'm not too much into gamification. I say this, but I'm actually hyper competitive. So let's continue with a duel. That, re that really depends on who you get. If I get a much stronger player, I freak out. Um, They're really good. Let's see. Uh, average player, silver division, 538. If I don't make a massive mistake, I should be able to win this. All right, let's see. This looks like Eastern Europe. Could even be Russia. Far away in Russia, actually. Do I see any indication of, no, of whether it's a European license, but I don't see any blue. Ooh, this looks like a Russian license. I think it says, yeah, it says Russia, Russia. I think this is far away. I think it's very far east, but I have no idea. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna put a guess here. It could be even next to Vladivostok for all I know. Maybe I need to analyze more the architecture of the buildings. Let's see, I've left 15 seconds for the opponent, my opponent to guess. Yes, I was very, very close, got very lucky on that one. Uh, they went to the US, um, I don't understand why, but that's good. They've lost a lot of points on this one. All right, this looks, I don't, actually I don't know. I have to be careful with my, no, this is Olsen Scandinavian. This is Scandinavian. This could be actually, I see a yellow license plate here. It could actually be the Netherlands. It sounds Dutch and it's brick houses. It's Denmark. All right, it is Denmark. DK, we see the website address here. So I'm guessing, leaving them with 15 seconds, my opponent with 15 seconds, so I can see the URL. I had a doubt. All right, they got close, so it's okay, not a big deal. Money losing, 200 points. Try to go in the middle of Denmark. They did guess Denmark. Nice job. All right. I'm going to look at the sun. So this is the Northern Hemisphere. I don't remember where the... I, I don't remember where the street view images are split like this in the sky. I don't remember. Wondering if it's... It seems this is a European license plate. Oh, it's very green. Can I do make one guess? I'm, I'm tempted to go with Montenegro. I don't remember. I wish I could remember where the, the country where these images are split like this in the sky. I keep forgetting. So I'm going to try and see if I can find a, before they guess, if I can see any sign with any language. Uh, there's something here, but it's a bit blurry. It sounds Croatian-like. It's quite an open area. 
Uh, I have a doubt. You can see that, again, this thing in the sky. Uh, I, need, I need to remember this. I believe it's just a few countries. I'm scared of going with Montenegro because it's quite far south. And if I'm wrong, maybe it's Slovakia. Oh, it, I was four kilometers away. That was pure luck. And I've won this game in two rounds. That was luck that I was so close in Montenegro. So it was Montenegro where the sky is um, ripped apart this way. It's just the image. It's not the actual sky in Montenegro. All right. So won two games, came second on another one. That's pretty good. Uh, it's not always like this. You can see my average uh, scores here. So played 20 times, won 12 times, arrived second twice, four times, and third once, which means I have lost or I have not achieved any of the podiums for three games. So I have another 10 games, but I will leave you with this. Uh, and maybe I'll do another recording. Stay tuned where I'm going to explore a map um, where I, for which I know the country. It's not the competitive mode, but trying to find exactly where it is on Google Maps. Thank you for watching.